Hey yo, raw coffee talk in the house. Back, back in the house. I've got, I've got a coffee frappuccino, yeah? You know, with, with the weather being a bit hot. Anyway, yeah, so I wanted to talk about a few topics. The first topic obviously being the legend, the one and only Boris the Blade Johnson. Now I know I haven't talked about Boris for a long time. I kept my eyes on him. I really have. And the biggest thing that this guy's done, right? You know when lockdown happened, and you know when they put the rules, you can't meet this person, you can't meet that person. At the peak of lockdown, this man was partying like there was no tomorrow. Like literally, these guys were partying. So when people were like locked up, worried, you know, especially old people, uh, a lot of people passed away. They weren't able to see their families. This idiot, Boris the Blade, and his crew were partying through the night. Like literally partying through the night. I don't know what to say, man. Only thing I can say is this. The Blade is the Blade. And that's the type of stuff he does. He just carves people up. I'm going to keep my eye on him. Now, I've kept my eye on him, but I'm going to talk about him a bit more. Because there's so many things this guy did, right? Him with his party yeah, of goons, that's what I call them, goons, the mafia. They were handing out COVID contracts, right, to people that were in their own party, that had shares in those companies. And they were giving them crazy contracts, like billions pound worth contracts of taxpayer money. Can you believe that? Boris the Blade one. Boris the Blade. You know that Ukraine war? That's helped him out. Have yeah. That helped him out, didn't it? Um, it took all the attention off what he was doing. What about his uh, team member? Which one? That uh, Rishi Suma. <laughs> <laughs> and his wife. <laughs> His wife, isn't it? Yeah. She had some dodgy visa or something. A bit, she, she's not really a citizen. She, I don't know, what was it? Alright, in other news, yeah. This is pretty sad. Sad news, yeah. A popular YouTuber or uh, social media star, yeah. What was her name? Maybe Vlogs, that's the one, yeah. She was in, her and her mother, they were involved. Their situation right basically they caused a car crash which two young lads passed away now I don't want to get into what happened what not happened that's not my place to say but a conviction was made and four people were charged uh, with, uh, with murder now the thing is if you look at the story the mother and daughter this, th th there's a lesson here for us, right? The mother is supposed to, not just mother, but parents, right? Are supposed to check their kids when they're in the wrong. Now, when a parent is living their second childhood and makes their children their best friend, and forget that they're a parent, a lot of issues will happen. And this story shows that. Because, firstly, yes, yeah, when you're with your, like, you know when you're with your friends and something kicks off, right? What are you going to do? You're going to go with them, aren't you? Especially when you're young and dumb. But your parent will say no. Isn't it? You get me? In this case, right, if the parent is the kid's best friend, the parent is going to say, come on, let's go out, let's go beat him up. That's not the role of a parent, is it? So my point is, parents need to remember that they're parents before they're friends. Because this is a perfect situation where you had, you know, a mother and a daughter who were acting like best friends and they got into some situation which led to, to their, the death of two young lads. Damn shame. Really dumb. To Allah we belong, to Allah we deter, without a doubt. And that's about it today, the Raw Coffee Talk. I'm going to be doing this on a weekly basis. Look at what's happening around the world. You saw that George Bush? Like, so check this out, yeah. George Bush, what a hypocrite. Before Trump, there was Bush. Trump was a legend compared to Bush. Trump was actually telling the truth. You know? 
Anyway, yeah, check this out. George Bush, yeah, who invaded Iraq, was talking about how Russia invaded Ukraine. You know, it's a bad thing. But while he's talking, he kind of slipped, he comes out with it. He basically mentions, uh, instead of saying Ukraine, he says Iraq, which is the country that he invaded. What a hypocrite. Anyway, guys, peace out. Boom.